And hello everybody, welcome back to more Coptic World Domination with me, Team and Paradox Gamer. Greetings all. Taking a lot of focus in these last two episodes. Yep. <laughs> but we'll get it done. They're fighting Bavaria? Do I dare look at the new world? Yeah. I dare. Not doing so hot. Although, actually, thanks to subsidies, my CNs are actually winning their fights, surprisingly. I'm going to see how much of England I can get carpeted and uh, see if France will give me anything for it. And I must actually siege out Uthrakt to end this other war. Um, I won't have admin to core if I take the tech, but I want the last level of admin efficiency. Bosnian noble rebels. Uh, I guess France has got it. <laughs> All right, we're down to around 200 <laughs> rebels, maybe. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Just how you planned it. Nope. nope. Not so much. <laughs> <laughs> now, is there anything else I want to take in this war? Not really. Oh, I could go after, like, Friesland or something. It's currently being occupied by Flanders. So, maybe not. Alright, it's time to strike back down here. Now we got another army coming in. Great. Oops, got caught there. I'm gonna put away the uh, Brabant rebels by standing on them. That's a good way to do it. Is at ninety percent, and it's going to stick down because so I have forces stationed there now. We've lost the Siege of Newmark. Crap! I want to at least have a general on this. Aw, oh, come on, man. I will annex in August, two more months. Yeah, I need to get that going. I think one more war to set that up, and then I'll call it. How is England not <laughs> having much less war score here? I guess I could just improve with France in separate piece, England. Take a few of their things. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, I have everything on the Isles, except for like two provinces occupied. You're okay, bases yeah, see. Down. I see how it is. I'm gonna unseat the Wargle. That should help. Oh, that's a lot to convert there as well. That's You're good. kidding me! Oh... I just got wiped. Huh. By yeah. Scandinavia. Man, they can suck one this game. They're really annoying. Unlike in Unlike. real life. They weren't like this in real life. Well, Sweden. <laughs> Sweden overpowered. Yeah, Sweden didn't, like, thumb its nose at rational interests. Like, it fought for its interests. It didn't do random crap. Do I have enough to go up 150? Yeah. It I'm just going to build the 150 regiments to offset this. Why don't I go Why to military 28? It's a pretty good question, isn't it? Fair enough. Oh, I got smoked on that assault. Give me a second here. It's just got a lot of pop bumps. Blah blah blah. What is this? Oh yeah, that's the dragoons. Yeah. Let's go up here. I'm sending all hundred this time. Few more rebels. New colonial nation, Amhara La Plata. No, that's not a good one. <laughs> La Copta. Sounds better. La Copta. Very nice. Let's go there. Alright, got that one left there. Two two rebels left. And there are a lot of those. God damn it. Hmm. And they immediately spawn tons of rebels. Which we'll immediately deal with. guys will take down them which means there's only one left so that's that one Oh yeah. Another revolt. Ah, Halukistan territory, obviously. Take them down there. Grab these guys. Put them in there. Get some conversions going.
All right. Split these guys up. Question is, will they convert? These guys down there. All right, so we are soon ready for the next offensive war. This is, you can call it a defensive war or just rebel bashing, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not, game really, boss, man. it's not doing anything good. It's not converting. How are we doing on yeah. that, anyway? Rebels can convert, but... So, religion... Hard to set that up in a positive way. We're 611, Catholic is 529. Alright, let's take these guys over here. Yeah, maybe up there. Slimson, who are they allied to? Nobody. Bingo. Time to kill them off. Um, yeah. I think we got enough now. Cool. Come on. Do I dare assault this? The problem is, like, if I fail, then the Scandinavian units nearby will probably lift their siege, run right over to me, and stack wipe me. That's getting really old. <laughs> it's not ex existential threat stuff any longer, but it just costs me time. This war should have been over already. Well, it's conquest seat beyond Mexico. Well. We're gonna try it. This is taking too long. There it is. Okay. So now... Ninety point four OE? What? We gotta help out the Incas as well. Why are they not moving? So where is uh, Castilla's um, capital? No idea. Ooh, Lombardia is an expensive province. Just a moment, won't be too much longer here. Just gotta sort out the stuff I took. France is probably gonna go pissy with me, because I, I pieced out of their war early. Although I thought so earlier as well, and they, they've stayed reasonably loyal throughout for whatever reason. It's not typical France behavior. Convert the hell out of all of this. Boom. Well, I make no provinces that Armenia will convert all their provinces to Coptic, but 
I have set it up, at least, so that they should. Alright, let's get these guys over here. Get some more of North Africa. Oh, Coptica was up to zero stab, but now they're back down to negative two, so... Yeah, they're, they'll never finish. They'll never core their provinces. Yeah, and literally, my uh, 13 colonies also has not converted more than the province they were converting at the start of this session. Hmm. Yeah, that sucks. I hope my CN can do a little bit better job there. It's all luck if it does. Because basically, they'll, um, it, it comes down to if something like rebels pop up on them, even if they don't get occupations, they just, they stop converting religion. And then they'll go, they'll get into situations where they have negative stability and won't boost it because they have so many things that raises their stability cost, like wrong religion, but they're not converting, and overextension, but they're not coring because they're mm -hmm. negative stability. So it's just a negative feedback loop that permanently cripples. Okay, I think it's time for a Red Bull. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna make it. Ah. I've been driving 300 kilometers today, so... Oh, jeez. If my game is not up to par, I'll blame it on that. Yeah, I definitely don't do as well when I'm tired playing this, because you need to, like, focus, there's no doubt. France is defender of the Catholic faith and will aid them. Screw you, France. Can I pull you in on someone else? Apparently. Apparently so. Actually, that's really good if I can bring France in on this. I'm down to one rebel. Excellent. Yep. That Seems was really, seriously, if I hadn't done anything there at that point, could have gone seriously wrong. That was just um, that was not good. Why do I have mainly artillery in this unit here? Not that I went over a hundred percent overextension or over two hundred once. That was a bad time. <laughs> You're gonna have <laughs> a bad time, especially late <laughs> game. That's just not too. Uh, to take lightly. Yeah, you can handle it better late than early, though. If you do that early game, you're, you're just toast. Late game, you have at least a couple options that you can try to right the shift, and you probably won't, but you but can. they'll spawn more. Yeah, they'll spawn more, but you, you can field hundreds and hundreds of regiments, too. Bye bye rebels. For now. There'll be more. Fort fives all over the frickin' place. Get out of here. When I have the full 80 regiments, I can assault Fort fives successfully. Are you coalition? You're not in the war. Alright, Slimson, say goodbye. Oh, yeah, I think these expensive. guys have no. They don't. Ha I don't have any claims on these guys. Oh, I do. I still have imperialism, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, that was the end of the uh, episode, folks. Thank you so much for watching, and see you guys next time. Bye bye. See ya.